Logan started at 7 in the morning. She had a follow up um, to check her lungs to see where it's going. She doesn't have asthma or anything like that, but whenever she gets a cold, um, her chest gets really congested and she does get the reason. So, um, yeah, that is, that is why she's on the liver right there. See how she sounds afterwards, and then as, when I go home, she's going to need a couple more treatments. So let's try to keep this cold. Okay, guys, so I just um, left the pediatrician now, and I'm about to go home. She still has a little bit of wheezing, but as she said, she sounds a lot better. I'm just gonna have to continue with the treatment when I get home. <sighs> Any parent would understand that it's a lot of work when you have a sick child, especially when they're young. I honestly hate the first year of life because it's just, it's so rough. Whenever they, whenever they get sick, it takes a lot for them to get better. I, I hate it. Like when they're older, when they're older, I can deal with that. But the first year, the first year, I, I just can't. Cause she, my, my other daughter, she's three. She was the first one with the cold, and she's better now. She still has like some aftermath coughing, but she's better because her immune system is stronger. But whenever she gets sick, oh my God, it's like, it just hit her really bad. It's not even a flu or anything. It's just a common cold. So it just, I don't like it. It, it, it takes so much to get them to just feel comfortable because it's gonna run its course a couple of days and to get them just to be comfortable there's so much you have to do you have to keep the nose clear suction the nose um you know vix on the chest depending on their age they do have baby vix too so um humidifier just to keep them comfortable like it's just the work like i'm gonna go home now i'm gonna suction her nose and i know she's not gonna like it i'm gonna give her her antibiotics and um her meds she's not gonna like it either i'm gonna have to fight with her so it's not easy and then you lose sleep because if they're congested they're coughing they can't sleep well when they can't sleep well you can't sleep well so it's just it's just too much i don't like when they're this young like i mean there are other beauties of it but whenever they're sick i hate it i just can't wait for her to get past this and be done with it okay so while I'm talking about, you know, just rambling about how hard it is to take care of a sick baby, <laughs> I'm going to give you guys some tips on like some natural remedies that you could use. Like I found over the years after having three kids, I found over the years to work, you know, for the first two years because that's the time when, um, that's the time when you know you can't give them a lot of meds unless it's like for cold unless the doctor prescribe steroids or something like that or even if you're the type that's not you know into those things you know you just want the natural stuff i'm going to give you some tips so the first thing is to get to keep the nose you know the nostrils clear that's the first thing because you know babies when they're eating if they're breathing through their mouth then it's it's not gonna 
it's it's just not easy for them so when they're eating you know whether they're breastfeeding or sucking a bottle they need their their nostrils clear to be able to breathe properly so that's the main thing to keep them comfortable and i find that um there are a couple of things that you could use obviously you could suction with a bulb syringe but recently which i found out about it sooner i've um i found out about the nose frida so basically it's just a thing a tube thing that you put in the nostril and you suck on one end there is a a, a filter so nothing gets in your mouth so you suction you could get a lot more out you could see everything clear in the bulb syringe you can't see anything you don't know what's in it you don't know if nothing's coming out and it irritates them it irritates their nose so that's definitely a plus uh let's see what i like to do is i like to give them a bath in eucalyptus oil like i take a few drops and <clears throat> I tip it when the water is running into the bath and then I have them in there so that way it's like steaming the the steam is coming up with the eucalyptus oil and that will go in the humidity oh, the humidity will will um clear up all the mucus and the you the eucalyptus oil, oil also helps with that so that's one thing I do <laughs> You could use a humidifier or a vaporizer or even the, 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 the steam method, the bathroom steam method. That's another thing to do if if you don't have a humidifier. Um, what else? After the first year, you could start giving them honey. Honey is not recommended under one because of the bacteria their body cannot break it down so after the first year you can start giving them honey because honey it's a natural antibiotic um it helps to get rid of you know clear up the mucus and stuff like that so that's one thing you could also do um i recently found that they have whole meds for babies before i i always thought that under two you cannot get anything for babies but i found out that the brand zarbies carry um cold meds for babies as young as two months i wish i'd known this years ago three kids later i'm just finding about finding out about that so um that's another thing uh, that you could consider also and let me see what else i think that's that's about it they also even um zarbies also have like a chest rub the regular fix is not for babies so they also have a chest rope for babies and i think that's it for the natural remedies um that you could use technically the medicine their medicine is natural because it's made with it's not made with honey it's made with agave instead of honey and and some not other natural ingredients so it is i would say it is natural um <coughs> she's coughing what else i feel like i'm forgetting something but if i remember i'll let you guys know okay i'm home now <laughs> and you i forgot one um saline drops if you um put a few drops of saline in the nostril yeah that helps to clear up the mucus and you do it before you suction so you could do it before your suction or you could just do it as often as needed just to clear up the the nostril you know in jamaica they used to just take the the babies to the beach and just dip them in the water and you know that helps because um i remember when i was younger and you would go to the beach the, when you come back you're not your nose will be like running and honey what are you doing yeah. Your nose will be running. She's like, scooting down. <laughs> Your nose will be running. Because the salt water helps to loosen stuff up too. So yeah, that's the one I forgot. <laughs> okay guys, so I'm now in the laundry room. I'm here doing some laundry. I'm just, I made this all 
they do pillows. Anyone knows me, they know I hate doing laundry. I dread doing laundry because um, we don't have a washer and dryer inside of our apartment. And I live on the third floor. <laughs> so, I always leave everything until the last minute. When my son doesn't have any clothes for school, any uniform for school. So I know I have to do laundry. So now I'm doing my two loads. I still have some sheets and some blankets to wash. But I don't know if I'm going to do those today. Maybe. Let's see. Okay, so that is it for today. I still need to do the laundry. Well, that's it. I'm tired. That's what I'm going to be done today. I took some videos and um, I did some loads of laundry. That's about it for today. I'm just going to take a shower and go lay down.